With the 36th pick of the third round, number 100 overall, the Arizona Cardinals selected Cincinnati edge rusher MyJ Sanders. In this video, I'm going to talk about what Sanders brings to the table and identify some current NFL players that I think are good comps for the kind of player he could become. Sanders was widely considered to be a very good pass rushing prospect. And of note, he had 10 pressures against Alabama in the college playoff. But an unfortunate illness during the pre-draft process hurt his stock. Sanders playing weight was somewhere in the area of 240 pounds, and he weighed in at 242 pounds at the Senior Bowl. But due to an illness, Sanders' weight dropped to 228 pounds at the Combine. This concerned a lot of NFL teams and likely led to his slide into the third round. But at his pro day, Sanders got his weight back up to 247 pounds, which is much closer to an ideal playing weight. As a pass rusher, Sanders uses his hands well and has the quick twitch you look for off the line. He's very quick off the line, but sometimes too quick. He does have a tendency to jump off sides. This is something he's gonna have to work on and could be his Achilles heel at the next level. But if he can scale back on the offsides penalties and continue to add muscle to his frame, he has what it takes to be an excellent edge rusher in the NFL. Using my Jay Sanders combine numbers, I found three current NFL players who seem to have a similar physical profile, who I think represent a reasonable range of outcomes for the type of player that Sanders could become at the next level. Now for these comps, I did use Sanders weight of 247 as a comparison and not the 228 from the combine. The first player we're gonna look at is a player who I think represents the closest physical comp in terms of measurables to Sanders and that's edge rusher Randy Gregory. Both Gregory and Sanders stand at six foot five, and Gregory actually was lighter at 235 when he came into the league. Gregory's arms are a little bit longer, his 40 time was slightly faster, but his 20 yard and 10 yard split were a little bit slower. He fared better in the shuttle, and Sanders didn't have a three cone to compare. Gregory had a better vertical and broad jump and bench press, and overall Gregory does seem to have a slight edge in athleticism. But there are a couple things worth noting here. Sanders does seem to be a little bit twitchier and faster at the snap. And it is hard to know how that illness and weight loss impacted Sanders' combine numbers. Generally speaking, these two do seem to be relatively similar comps in terms of their physical traits. Now, unfortunately, due to injuries and suspensions, Gregory's career has been uneven thus far, and he hasn't quite lived up to what people had hoped for him coming out of the draft. He did have his best season as a pro in 2021, in which he had six sacks, 14 hits, and 27 hurries. This offseason, he signed with the Denver Broncos and is hoping to continue to get his career back on track. The next comp we're going to look at is a player who doesn't quite have the same level of athleticism as Sanders, but hasn't dealt with the injuries and suspensions that Randy Gregory has, and that's linebacker Kyler Fackrell of the Las Vegas Raiders. Coming out of college, he was similar in terms of height and weight. His arms are a little bit longer, but you see his 40 time was slower than that of Sanders. His 20-yard split and 10-yard split were also slower, though his shuttle was nearly identical to that of Sanders. He had a little bit better vertical, nearly identical broad jump, but didn't put up as many bench reps as Sanders did. Fackrell spent the first four years of his career with the Green Bay Packers, but since then has bounced around playing with the Giants, Chargers, and this offseason signing with the Raiders. In 2018, he had his most productive season as a pass rusher, accumulating 10 and a half sacks. Now it is worth noting that Fackrell's a little bit more of a rangy tackler than Sanders is, and he does tend to play fewer pass rushing snaps than some of the other comps we're going to look at. In a typical season, Fackrell is at about 230 pass rushing snaps, while the last comp we're going to look at in this video typically has over 400 pass rushing snaps per season. So while his sack numbers haven't been consistently high, Fackrell has been a solid linebacker in the NFL. Now I would expect Sanders to be more of a pass rushing specialist than Fackrell has been, but Fackrell does seem to represent sort of a mid-tier type of player that Sanders could become. Now before we get to the last comp, do me a quick favor. Please click like on this video, and if you're a Cardinals fan, subscribe to my channel. I post Arizona Cardinals content every week, and I think you'll enjoy my videos. The last player we're going to look at is someone who I think represents sort of a higher-end comp for my Jay Sanders, and that's Brian Burns of the Carolina Panthers. Coming out in the draft, Burns was very similar in terms of height and weight. His arms were a little bit longer, and he did post better times in the 40-yard dash, the 20-yard split, the 10-yard split. He didn't do the shuttle, and we can't compare the three cones since Sanders didn't do that, but he had a better vertical and broad jump and didn't do the bench press. So overall, Burns did seem to have better combine numbers than Sanders. Both are sudden off the line, but Sanders does seem to be a better hand fighter than Burns was. But both players had concerns 
concerns about their slight frame coming out in the draft. Since being drafted in 2019, Burns has been the most consistent player among these comps. He had seven and a half sacks his rookie season, nine in 2020 and nine in 2021. His tackles, hits and hurries have also been very consistent, especially over the past two seasons. Now, as I said, Burns does seem to be more athletic than Sanders and Sanders is gonna have to leverage other aspects of his game, like his great hand usage and pass rushing moves if he's gonna meet this comp. But if he reaches the potential that the Cardinals see in him, and if Cameron Thomas lives up to his potential, the Cardinals might have drafted their pass rushing tandem of the future in the third round this year. If you wanna learn more about Cameron Thomas, the other edge rusher they selected in the third round, check out this video right here. I do a similar comp as I did in this video, looking at current NFL players who I think represent the kind of player Cameron Thomas could be. So who do you think is the most accurate comp for MyJ Sanders? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Cardinal Rule.